What's going on, dudes and dudettes? I decided to come back weekly after each NFL week to give you an update on my fantasy football team as I did last year. And let's see what happened this last weekend, and including Monday as well. Ended up getting, I guess, the Snickers victory against my sister, 169 to 119. And let's pretty much view the recap first. I know we did this last last year, but got an A plus. She got a D. Her a lot of her team underperformed. It would have been a lot closer, but yeah, Joe Burrows uh, did all that stuff. So yeah, my team obviously Eckler with the 24 points, but of course he's questionable this week with an ankle thing. So might have to pivot somewhere else, but. Tony Pollard, two of my top two picks, and then Trevor Lawrence, my quarterback, at 23 points. Jake Elliott at 19. Yeah, her team did pretty good. Brees Hall was looking good last night, but of course he did all those yards and still didn't score. And when your kicker is your second best scorer, there's probably something wrong. But yeah, her even her defense was one of the better performance last week also. They had 56 points. The Dallas defense was pretty crazy. But what it looks like I am most likely in second place because Don's perfect team did score 175. So I have 169, so it goes by points now. Even though we're both 1-0, but it's all good. Lowest scoring team was Roy's mighty team at 92. Of course, Tyreek Hill is the best performing player against my real team, the Chargers. I remember I was going to pick him, but Austin Eckler was there, so I had to pick him. Yeah, sadly, someone started missing Crosby, but I don't even think he's playing anymore. Yeah, that Don Perrick team got that margin of victory. Just a little bit. I think I had it against my sister, but Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson did pretty good last night on Monday night. Okay, yeah, I was going to say... Usually it does a recap and kind of talks a bit more, but of course it's saying it's processing. It will be available soon. But yeah, let's get back to week one. So yeah, like I said, her quarterback only four points. That's never going to happen. Drake London, for some reason, had zero points, which is pretty crazy because she dropped him pretty high. But yeah, running back, only four, tight end, zero. So yeah, it's pretty kind of weird, and then she still had the 119, especially thanks to her defense, so it would have been a lot closer if a lot of these guys stepped up for her. But luckily, most of my guys did, and even some of my bench guys did pretty well also. Michael Pittman Jr., the receiver, had 19 points. He started off slow, but finally got going. Even Tyler Algier, who's supposed to be the second string to the top running back, and Top four player picked in fantasy. He still got 22 points. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, well, not that bad of a matchup. And then next week I get Smokeland Blaze. Already projected to win by at least seven points. So a 57% chance of winning. Might move a person or two from my bench to see what happens because they're in a better matchup. But. Yeah, going up against Fields, Ridley, who did really well. Williams, who was up and down. Yeah, the Chargers were just up and down. Mixon, he has that the John Robinson guy from Atlanta, the rookie. Not that great of a tight end, but he is in place of Kelsey right now over there. Yeah, it should be a pretty interesting matchup overall next weekend. So, yeah, like I said, I should be in second place. Yeah, so overall... Not too crazy. Surprised by some of these teams at the bottom, but I'm pretty sure they'll step it up with some better performances from their team. So yeah, thanks for watching, people. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.